All right, so the other day, uh, Elizabeth Warren came out basically saying that the Electoral College needs to go bye-bye, that it's obsolete, out of date, all of this nonsense that the left usually spews. So here's some information you need to know about the Electoral College. America would be an absolute disaster uh, without the Electoral College. As a matter of fact, it's one of the things that makes our country the most exceptional. It's also one of the things while the founders were framing the Constitution, they looked at and said, this is what needs to take place. There wasn't a whole lot of debate uh, about it. So here's some things you need to know. Here are six things, as, as a matter of fact. Number one, without the Electoral College, do you know that slavery would have existed in America longer than it did? That's right. Abraham Lincoln won the presidency, uh, the first Republican president, and the signer of the Emancipation Proclamation because of the Electoral College, because it existed. Southern states refused to put his name on the ballot because they did not want to end slavery. Secondly, it represents, the Electoral College represents state diversity. Can you imagine uh, going to Texas to look for a, 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 a New York style hot dog or, or a New York style pizza? Or, or, or can you imagine going to, I don't know, New Jersey to try to experience the Grand Canyon? What the, what the Electoral College does is make sure that we have 50 states that are diverse and that are unique in their own way and it helps those, st those states to preserve their own uh, uniqueness. Thirdly, all states should decide the presidential election, not just California, not just New York, not just Texas. It, it, uh, abolishing the Electoral College would mean Fewer people have a say in the presidential uh, election, not more, contrary to what Elizabeth Warren said. Fourth, it preserves the power of the states. This is known as, uh, as federalism. You don't want a few people in Washington, D.C. making the decisions for all of the, uh, uh, all of the entire United States. You don't want so much power in so few hands. Uh, states like, uh, I, I don't know, the rest of the states shouldn't have to bail out, let's say, for instance, California and New York who are irresponsible with their fiscal budgets. Why should any other state be forced be forced to pay for, it, for their irresponsibility. Likewise, Massachusetts, Vermont, these states uh, uh, experimented with socialized health care and it failed. Why should a federal government uh, force the rest of the states who thinks, uh, who thinks that's a stupid idea, uh, 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 why should, uh, who thinks that's a stupid idea, why should they be forced uh, to go under socialized health care? It just makes no sense uh, whatsoever. Uh, and then the popular vote is un-American. Think about it. It's mob rule. It's in favor of the majority and it silences the min minority under our constitution Everyone has a say. Lastly, the Electoral College prevents election fraud. Can you imagine uh, if we had to just think of just think of 2000? Think of the 2000 election. Think of uh, George W. Bush uh, versus Gore. Now the recount was isolated to the Florida elections. Uh, and, and we can do that because of the Electoral College. We can pay attention from state to state and isolate them. Can you imagine if we had a popular vote and we had a recount? Could you imagine the cheating that would go on when the left said, hey, we didn't lose, so we're gonna have to redo the entire presidential election and all hundred something million plus voters are gonna have to go out and revote. First off, a lot of people wouldn't show up. Uh, it would just be an absolute absolute disaster. So it's absolutely foolhardy when you hear politicians say, let's get rid of the Electoral College. What they are saying is, give me more power. Give the federal government more power. And I just encourage you, don't listen to anyone that's saying get rid of the Electoral College. It means they want to make you weaker and they want to make the federal government stronger. Until next time, don't grow weary doing good. Make sure you follow me on Facebook, Carl Jackson Radio. Also, subscribe to The Carl Jackson Show on YouTube.